Hey math friends, welcome back. Uh, so today's video we're going to do rounding and we're going to start at the basics again but it's going to be a real quick video for rounding and then tomorrow I'm going to show you a little bit something different with rounding but still a little bit more advanced today but still rounding. So, uh, so before we do rounding we need to know uh, the biggest thing we need to know for rounding is when we're doing rounding I'm going to tell you a sometimes a specific place value to look at. So we have to know place values first. So if we have this number and it is like this, 897,434, that is our number. These all have place values, right? So this value right here is ones, this one is tens, hundreds, this is thousands. Remember that, that pattern? Ten thousands, and lastly, hundred thousands. I'm just going to write H T because I don't want to write it out. But each one of these has a place value. When we're rounding, we might give you a question like, round to the nearest ten thousands. So you're going to have to know which one of these numbers here is the ten thousands place. And since we just covered it, you'd be like, oh, it's seven, Mr. B, seven. Or sorry, nine, Mr. B, nine. That's the thousands place. If I said round to the nearest tens, you need to know it's the three. So let's pretend we have a new problem here. I'm not going to give you as big of a problem when we do them. Let's say we have a number that looks like this. 8,743. I might say round to the nearest hundreds place. So first off, which digit here is in the hundreds place? Yes, the seven is in the hundreds place. So that is the digit we're going to be rounding. Remember, when we're rounding, we look at the digit, we find the digit we're rounding to, and then we go to the right and circle that number because this number is going to tell us what to do. And the number, if it's 0 through 4, we're going to keep this number the same. If it's 5 through 9, so 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, we're going to add 1 to this number. So when I'm, I'm, I said round to the, to the hundreds. Round to the hundreds place. So we look at the seven. We find our hundreds place. Over here, our four tells us to keep this number the same. So we can start writing it out. Eight, seven, keep it the same. Now we need to know what to do with these numbers. And the reason that I underline this number and circle it is because this circle right here is to remind me that all the numbers this way turn to zero. So I can even turn that one to a zero. And I round it. My four turns to zero, three turns to zero. So 8,743 rounds, when you round to the hundreds place, rounds to 8,700. Let's try one more really quick. to the thousands place. So if you want to go ahead and start rounding to the thousands place, you can if you know what you're doing. If you don't, let's walk through this one together. So first we need to find the thousands place. What digit right here represents the thousands place? If you said four, you were thinking four, you are correct. So we are going to underline that digit. Next, we need to look to the right, and we're going to circle that number, because that number is going to tell us what we need to do. Who can remember what a 7 tells us to do? Is it going to tell us to keep this the same, or are we going to add 1 to that? So remember, 0 through 4 stays the same. 
5 and above, we add 1 to this number. So I'm going to add 1 to the number. So I make it a 5. When I'm writing my new number, I do a little plus 1 to a 5. And again, I circle all the numbers to the right of it because it tells me to make those zeros. So our new rounded number, when we round 4,752 to the thousands place, rounds to 5,000. We are going to have some practice problems today where we tell you the place value to round to, like the thousands, hundreds, or tens, or even ones, and you will round to that number using those things that we did. We're going to have a little practice in group today, so make sure to have your whiteboards ready and your screens on. And I will see you then. Bye.